a new city ordinance would put stricter rules in place for what senior centers have to do before and during an emergency. Well, it's now one step closer to passing and a council committee voted today to move the policy changes forward. Jade Cunningham explains the proposed rule changes. But it's very difficult for me to come up with the words to describe just how horrible that whole situation was. The days that followed Hurricane Ida, problems surrounded independent living apartments and senior centers all over the city. It really has exposed, I think, a weakness um, in our housing situation and a weakness in our response. In two days, 10 senior living facilities were evacuated in post-storm sweeps. Five residents died and conditions inside these properties were found to be unfit. And people and elderly folks did not have ice, you know, food, basic resources, and nobody knew who was there and who was not there. And so when we showed up, um, it was just really at Annunciation Inn. It was just an untenable situation. A new policy, though, would change that. On Tuesday, the Louisiana Department of Health outlined new regulations that, if passed, facilities would be required to follow before, during, and after a declared emergency. So we're looking at apartment complexes that have units that are designated for seniors, people with disabilities, or permanent supportive housing. The requirements are specific and include submitting emergency operations and evacuation plans annually, providing key contact information and ensuring that person is on site during the entirety of the emergency, submitting a resident census of who stays and who goes, noting those with special medical needs, and providing situation updates every 24 hours at least during the crisis. All of this stuff, in hindsight, makes perfect sense to do. However, I'm very sorry that we didn't have the foresight to have required this before. The regulations passed its first hurdle with a unanimous vote from the committee. It'll now go to the full city council for discussion. Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News. If that ordinance is passed, there will be repercussions if a senior living facility does not follow those new requirements. In some cases, they could lose their licenses.